we it's recording. You always rushing yeah, me. So you just feel it all bougie because you got your glass of wine. And you feeling all just fancy. Shut up. You ain't got nothing to do with it. Well, come on. She always rushing me and then, then ain't ready. I'm ready though. You bet you're not. I'm ready. But we'll see. What you staring at me like that for? I pressed record. You still tapping away. What, what's going on? I thought you was ready. I was. I am ready. If you was ready, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. No, we're only having a conversation because you won't shut up. You damn right. Close the door, Marcus. Hold on. Hmm. Well, we what's go. up, everybody? Testing. Oh, I can't hear nothing. That's exactly what I'm saying. Technical coordinator ain't ready, y'all. You know, if somebody, if somebody else ever did something else, but just hey, show up. I'm here. Up. I did my job. All right. All right. Try it again. Can you hear yourself? Testing. No, I cannot. Testing, testing, testing. Can you hear testing. I can hear you. I can't hear me. I can hear you. Testing, testing. There we go. Oh, it went out. Oh, was the jack. Yeah. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? What's happening? Welcome back to Is This Gonna Cause an Argument? It's your girl, Angel, also known as That Chick Angel. Tell them who you are, baby. Marcus. Tank. Y'all know me who I am. <laughs> this is also my husband of 11 years. 11 whole years. Yeah, 11 years going on 14 years together. And um, we're just glad to be here, you guys. Oh, was it September, October? Where are you getting this 14 from? Because we started dating in the summer. Well, we, you know, you started actively hollering at me in the summer. So of is that what you counting? To that, listen. 2004. Was it 2004? Yeah. All right. We became official at the end of 2004. All right. So is that not 14? Thanks. 14 years. Well, I've locked you it was down. You official before me. I'll be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> don't, make me, don't make me go off on you here. For you, uh, so you guys, if this is your first time tuning in to Is This Going to Cause an Argument? Thank you so much for tuning in to our podcast. Appreciate it, y'all. We thoroughly enjoy doing this. Um, one of the things that we get to do together that's just our thing. So Yeah, we thoroughly enjoy doing it even if we sometimes don't get the time to do, to do it. it. Yes. But we definitely enjoy it. So if this is your first time tuning in, make sure you rate our podcast. You can do it on iTunes and it makes us more discoverable. We're also on SoundCloud as well as Google Play. We're all over the place. And um, you can also watch the visual of it on YouTube at That Chick Angel TV. And you can see what we're doing. You'll see a little bit of bonus footage before you actually hear anything on the podcast. You'll see us in... And sometimes after. <laughs> yes, and sometimes after. Um, I'm going to get uh, all the business out of the way, the part that Marcus hates. You can also follow me on all the social media platforms. Typically, my handle is at that chick angel. The only place that it's a little different is on Twitter, where it is still Angel the Actress, but you can still find me at that chick angel on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all those places. Baby, tell them where they can find you. Y'all can find me. I'm going to go. It's an oldie but a goodie on blackplanet.com. <laughs> you ain't there, Slim though. Slim 77. Tell them how to spell it, though. It's the number seven, the letter D, and then you spell out seven. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you feel the need to be that creative with that? Why not? Why not? Is Why that, not? That how you, you, you sound a little echoey. So, yeah, I you feel like it? I Okay, I don't want it to too. come out like it to everybody else. I hope else. it doesn't either. I to take pause for the comments, you guys, to listen back to this. To make sure I'm not sounding like a demon to everybody. Now nah, you did. Yeah. Okay, so you all are seeing that right now. Uh, let me see here. I sound far away. far away. I just scoot in on it. 
Oh, no, you really. Wait a minute. If that's the difference, we got to start all over. Look at the difference. You see, you are these. Oh, pieces. yeah. Wow. All right, guys. Sorry. Yeah. You're going to hear the little bit of the intro again. Here we go. What's up, guys? And welcome to Is This Going to Cause an Argument? What's happening, y'all? I'm so glad that y'all are tuning in. We're over here having to rig some stuff up because my little MIDI that brings in the sound ain't working right. Yes, but... it's, it's been a long trying time. Y'all. We've been through a lot. <laughs> y'all, I wish you all could see us. We are over here having to be really intimate. Yeah, we usually, uh, if you tune in for the first time, we usually have headphones on, two different mics and everything. But like she said, we had a uh, splitter. I don't know what you call it. It's a MIDI. A MIDI. It went bad again, so now we're over here sharing a mic and going back and forth. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, and for those of you who were tuned in the last podcast and are regulars, um, if you are watching on YouTube, you can see that our ceiling is fixed. Yes. Last time it looked like it had a plague or a flesh-eating virus because yes. the paint was peeling off because we had a leak that I had to repair. repair and oh. then we got it painted over. So anyway... It looked like when somebody gets a facial peel and their skin starts to peel off, that's what it looked like it was happening on our ceiling, that the skin of our ceiling was peeling off. To me, it just peel. looked like zombie ceiling, like if houses could become zombies and, you know. That's what it was. Yeah. So, you guys, you can follow me on all the social media platforms. Uh, you can find me at the handle at That Chick Angel, except for on Twitter, I am Angel the Actress, but Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, That Chick Angel. Where can they find you, boo-boo? You, you know what? You can find me in the drift. Anybody seen Pacific Rim? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you are so silly. Um, yeah. That's where y'all can find me. Y'all can find me on the, uh, every now and then. You can catch me on the YouTube channel. That so, Chick Angel TV. Yeah. Rarely he's on my Instagram, but sometimes he's there. I pop up every now and then. Every now and again. So, yeah, it's like a rare delicacy. You know, you can't get it oh, all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta, You gotta appreciate it when you do get it, though. Well. Yeah. He's a delicacy. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> so, babe. So, What's what up? has either been grinding your gears or just giving you all types of life this weekend? I mean, this week. This week. Um, normally, I would say the politics and stuff is going on, but it's not. It's I don't. I'm not bothered by it anymore because it's just ridiculous. It's the same old mm -hmm. broken record. Yeah. So I stopped paying a lot of attention to it. It is entertaining. Like going back to watch it. Um, I saw a Saturday Night Live sketch. A parody of it. Parody, yeah, and it was. Uh, and that made me actually go watch some of the trial that the dude is going through, mm -hmm. and I was like. Oh, he actually didn't say some of that stuff. It wasn't all just comic uh, relief, comedic relief. But uh, but yeah, that, that that don't even bother me no more. I'm like, ain't nothing changed about this country. You know, if you're if just in case you're watching this weeks late, he's referring to the Kavanaugh, yeah. um, the uh, investigation before his investigation and trial before he was actually sworn, sworn in. in as a Supreme Court justice. And uh, Marcus, he said to me today, he said, you know, they swore him in today. I was like, of course they did. They swore in Clarence Thomas after yeah. there was a whole investigation yeah. about him and um, Anita. Yeah, and he's black. Yeah, I said they so swore in a black dude. They can pretty much <laughs> swear in anybody white that they want to. <laughs> like, they ain't even got to be a judge or nothing. It's like... What's he do for a little y'all? He a carpenter. No. Nope. Put him on there. Right. I was like, they going to have but to But he's got a record. Boy. Put him on there. They gotta, it's gonna have to be more than the He's got a swastika tattooed on his forehead. Put him on that. <laughs> we can get him <laughs> Um, yeah, I was like, no, it's gonna have to be more than the word of a woman uh, in, a, in, in a situation that happened a couple of decades ago for them to uh, turn down him becoming a Supreme Court Justice. So, but you said that's not what it's gonna be, so what is it gonna be? You brought it up as if that was gonna be your thing. I've been pretty easy breezy. Um, yeah. Ain't nothing been really bothering me. I just been trying to let stuff just go. Y'all held and fro froze over. No, uh, you know it. No, they, they don't, stuff don't always bother me. Nick, hold on. All right, you just brought it up. I, so, exactly, stuff don't nah, ever bother you. Because I, like I said, I just try to let it go. When you talk about it, sometimes it just makes it worse. Just sometimes you just need to shut up about it and let it go. That's why I'm always quiet around this house. Speaking <laughs> of this house, I slap you. what's up with you and all these clothes all over the house? 
Which means clothes all over the house. Clothes all over the house. What are you referring so, to specifically? Angel knows that I hate happening step over stuff. Like I don't like clutter. I, I don't either. I don't like clutter you either. You say that. But you don't <laughs> mind it. clutter. You are I, lying. I mind it. I can't. You create it. it. Doesn't mean I like it. Yes. It no. does. I create a fat tummy sometimes and I hate it. Then you don't hate it enough. Maybe that's the case, but I do you the, hate you it. you my you was grinding my goddamn gears this week. That's How what am I <laughs> grinding your gears, baby? You are. How I just you? told you, creating clutter. Creating clutter. Now it's foolishness. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. What's been bothering you? Let's, let's get to talk about you. What's bothering me? I've had such a good week. I can't say that anything's bothering me. You can't me. say nothing's bothering you? I'm not you. Yeah, you can't day. say that? Ain't nothing bothering you? You know what's bothering me? What's bothering you? The clutter. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's bothering nah, it me. It is. It's like, so Angel knows I hate having to step over things. Like, I can't stand to have to step over something and something be laying in the floor. Like, mm -hmm. she's leaving for New York here pretty soon. As soon as Angel walks out of this house, I'm going to clean it. It will stay clean because she likes to blame it on the kids. It's not the kids. But they are part of it. They're a small part of it. Go Hi, ahead. Let me finish. I'm, I say go ahead. It's not the kids. The whole time Angel's gone, this house will be immaculate. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it will. You, when you get back, it'll be immaculate. Okay. What time do you get back? Uh, Monday early in the morning. Early in the morning? Mm -hmm. By noon. Is it going to be bad? It's going to be bad. Aww. So she... Asshole. <laughs> so she... Uh, asshole. She folded up a bunch of clothes and put them on my side of the bed on who's, the floor. Whose clothes were they? Well, the baby's clothes. No, oh, they were all the kids' clothes, huh? Yeah. They were. They were all the baby's clothes. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't put them up because no. you should have put them up oh. after you folded them. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. You should have put you, them up you after should, you folded them. I'm, or I'm even if you didn't. Can it, I oh, no, 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Please go ahead, finish. Love the clock is finish. running. Love it when you finish. Go ahead. <laughs> so, instead of just putting them somewhere else where I don't have to step over them early in the morning because I have to keep all the lights off when I'm getting ready mm -hmm. and the clothes will just lay there on the floor for me to kick around and stumble over and stuff every morning. She just let she just left them there to the point to where Friday I, I was at work and I was like, would you mind moving those damn clothes? Yes, they stayed there all week because you stubborn and made me stubborn. <laughs> I wasn't about to move the damn clothes. When you asked me, did I put them up? Say what? When you asked. Eventually, me. yes, you put them up today. I put them up the day you asked me. N no, you didn't. Yes, I did. Maybe yeah, you did. I did. Something else was there. It's probably your stuff. But yes, can I ask? A quick question. Hurry up, because we got we got to start <laughs> the podcast. Um, how often do you fold and then put up the children's clothes? Well, when, once I give this answer, I won't give this answer unless I'm giving the space and the time to explain why it's been uh, really? the time the, limit. It's just it's can true. I can I answer? I thought we were running out of time. No, so we <laughs> are. We was. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Based off of the fact that you Hold didn't on. explain. No, 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 no. Because you said, can you do that? And I'm telling you, no. Oh, then I, we ain't going to talk about it then. Now we ain't going to talk about it. It's so, my this God. week on Is This Going to Cause an Argument, <laughs> we Wait, are talking. Is there anything that's making you feel good? No, not a goddamn thing right Aww. Um, I got some good wigs that's making me feel good. And I worked my butt off Thursday, got up. Five something whenever you woke me up. Uh -huh. Went and did my scripted acting job, my job for I, Netflix. And I'm glad that you um, were able to go to that and do all that and didn't stumble over the clothes. And I didn't because anything. I can see it. Like, um, and no, I we turned all the lights on because wasn't nobody sleep. Okay, well I could see. So then after that, I was able to come home and I was able to um, do some stuff for my channel. And then, why you move the mic? And then I was able to do uh, stand up later on that night. I literally was able to work in all of the avenues of my career. One that's day. great. That is great. It. And went to my son's school. Was killing it as a mom. That's that's great. It really is. Thank you, baby. All right, you I'm ready? proud of you. If you don't have anything that you are nah, happy let's about, let's quit while we're ahead. I'm I'm happy about everything. You are. Yeah. I'm happy about you. Yeah. You so fine. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're gorgeous. Am I really? Thank mm -hmm. God. Thank you. He says it like he's so upset that he had to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> I said it because I... Don't you hate gorgeous? 
Do I hate gorgeous? Yeah. I have gorgeous tattooed on my hip. You said you hated being the, somebody being called gorgeous. Mm. I know what you're talking about, but I don't think it's the word gorgeous. No. Uh -huh. Yeah, because no, gorgeous is tattooed. Yeah, I know that. Words. Do you? Do you know it? You don't smack you're, you're on, it. You're on the subject. So the topic of today's um, conversation or possible argument came from one of the sub the subscribers. Marcus had found it, but I don't think he, do you remember who? who what, gave the it? one I suggested? Oh, you suggested, I thought yeah, you found no, it in there. Yeah, I suggested it. Um, he wanted to talk about meeting new couples. Yeah. I know as a mom, that's like a huge thing. When you become a mom, I, we have to kind of, I'm sorry, we're we're in a yeah, little bit of like limbo. she's like swallowing me right now. I have no this. choice because your arm, what about here, because your elbow. Okay, let me do this thing. Okay, perfect. Yay, he's now cuddling with me like we're Michael Jackson and old girl in the movie theater of Thriller. You remember that? When she got scared and she like cuddled in his arms. You remember that? You can't scare nobody from Baltimore. You can't. You can't. <laughs> so anyway, you I remember. You taking over the whole mic. Though. Okay, I remember when I first became a mom. There you go. And even as a person who works in the mommy genre, that's a big question for folks, is finding mom friends, finding people who are in that walk of life with you. So the same time, the same type of thing happens when you become a married couple. Yeah. While you don't get rid of all your single friends. No, you, you don't get rid find... of your single friends, but you are trying to find like, like people with the same... Uh... Like energy, vibe. Yeah. Because sometimes you might meet people who it seemed like on paper you all would get along with very well, but then like the vibe is off. like. They team too much and you just can't deal with the energy that they bring into stuff. Right. So in our 11 years of marriage, I don't know. We've made, we've made a few. Yeah, we made a few that we are glad are out of our lives. Is that what you're referring and to? No, I was oh. going to say made a few couple friends. Oh yeah, we have met a lot. <laughs> like our first couple friend were, uh, are the, um, Two of the godparents uh, of our kids, B.J. Carter and Tora Carter. We didn't meet them. We were already friends with them. Like we were, no, but no, no, no. We were kind of friends with them, but we became couple friends. You and B.J. were cool, but me and Tora only kind of knew each other in passing. Me and B.J. Uh -huh. knew each other, but it wasn't like me and B.J. are cool. I'm going to have him be the godfather of my sons. All right. No, like I feel like our friendship. That happened after we were married. Oh, I, I was thinking kids. Yeah, no, no, no. They happened after we were married. This is about couple friends. Yeah. They were probably... BJ's my best friend, so, like, I was in his wedding and everything, so... Yeah, so, like, they were the first couple friends. Because the thing is, I have my best friends, but it's not that we're friends as a couple with their right. spouses. Right, They are one of the few that we're, like, that's our couple friends. Like, if we're trying to, if we're back home, if we're trying to go out as a couple... Those are the two that we would probably go out with or either, you know, my sister and her husband. So, like, it was really easy at first. And then when we got out here, when we were living out here, the problem was all of my friends were single. Yeah, and I didn't have no friends out here. My friends were basically her friends, unfortunately. Yeah. So, you got a whole bunch of single girlfriends. Marcus working out at the gym with a bunch of single dudes. And it was just like, um, okay. I know some of y'all already thinking, it's like, oh, why don't you just introduce them? Nah, it ain't like that out here in LA. No, no, not at all. Not at all. I wasn't about to introduce anybody I'm cool with, any chick that I'm cool with to no dude that I know. It was like one or maybe two that I would have been like, oh, no, that's a good dude. I would hook him up with somebody I know. Right, right. So... As far as in like finding couple friends, like I feel like Marcus is way more hesitant than I am. And explain to them why, or if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. No, I'm hesitant, not even couple friends, just friends, period. Um, after moving out here, I had to do that whole introduction to like, oh, this is so-and-so. I had to do that meeting you introduction so many di different times because yeah. of Angel. For one, I didn't know anybody. Angel's career, so I have to go to her events and be social and get to know people. And I got to the point to where I, I was never like an extremely social person. Like even when I was like even when I was single, I wouldn't go out and try to meet everybody I could. I would still kind of fade to the corner and kick back till my song came on. 
So are you sure? Because you used to carry a snake around your neck at festivals. That does not like I'm hot. Was nobody corn. swarming up to me but with that snake? Yeah, they might. Boy. Her name was Smith and Wesson. They might not have been running up to you, but they definitely would know. Yeah, it would definitely draw attention. But again, that wasn't to get to know people. It was just kind of showing off, like mm -hmm. meet Smith and Wesson. Mm -hmm. So anyway, scoop back while I'm talking, because you got this goofy look on your face. It's called love. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I had to do this whole, you know, meeting everybody. So at this point in my lifetime right now, or in my life right now, I'm tired of that conversation. I don't want to be put at a table with a bunch of other dudes but just because we have similar interests and our wives are friends. Like, I don't care to get to know anybody new. And it's like, that's just me. It's like, no, I could do without. Like, oh yeah, there'll probably be a bunch of cool people there. I don't really care that there's going to be a bunch of cool people there. And like, when I do meet cool people and they're, they're genuinely like, I can sense how really are cool. I will attract to them. It's like, okay, no, that, that's, those are cool people right there. But for the most part, I don't go seeking that out. But if I come across it, I don't avoid it. And you know what I feel like sometimes is very difficult with us, especially like the instances that he's talking about, of, like that happens a lot with the Mocha Mom events. Like, you know, we'll have couples night out. And sometimes I think Marcus puts too much on just having a conversation. Like that to him, I don't know why that's so exhausting. Like it's just the conversation. It's not people that you have to be cool with yeah, afterwards. But it, it's a conversation that I've had to have so many, so many times. Like when you put like when you're meeting new people, it's usually because y'all have a common interest. It's like, oh, you do this. Oh, you. Add, oh yeah, I got a social media. Oh, I do too. So y'all get into that. Y'all intrigued by each other. It's just like, so what you do for a living? Well, how about don't start the conversation off like that? It, Forget the formalities. Y'all not trying okay, to be like but friends, guys, friends. But with guys, it's either what do you do for a living and sports? You could take it another level though, Marcus. You don't have to go with the norm. You could talk I'm about not, something. I don't care about putting the... That's what you... No, I'm saying, <laughs> but just I'm saying instead of going for, okay, this is what guys talk about, just talk about whatever you're interested in at the moment. Like, you know what I'm saying? Me and you, if we go out, if we're on a date, we're not talking about work a lot of times. We're talking about stuff that's happening in the moment or stuff that's happened with our kids. So I'm saying, why not have a conversation about what's in the moment? That's actually what happens more so with women than what you think. You're thinking it's like, oh, social media. Okay. It's like, no, what's happening oh, in the moment? Because you're married to a man that's not absorbed in sports. That's how conversations start off with men. I'm saying you started off differently. That's what I'm saying. Why don't you take the initiative? That does off? happen, but it's still to the point to where I don't really care to put this much energy. And let me t I, try not to. Why can't you just tell me I got something on my nose? Because I didn't want to have to tell you. I was trying to just wipe it off. I was um, trying to wipe it off. Back up. I was trying so they could hear me. You forget there's only one mic. It's still there. Let me get it. It's a hair. One All right. Well, look at it. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, it's like when you sitting there and you you talking. It's like, hey, what's going? It's how the conversation go. Hey, what's up? What's your name? Oh, I'm Harold. Oh, what's going on? I'm Marcus. All right, man. How's everything? Oh, yeah, it's cool. So, who's your wife? Oh, that's my wife over there. Oh, okay. So, did you catch that game? I'm gonna be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. But did you see that new car that Lexus just dropped? Like, ain't nobody gonna revert. No, no, that. no. I'm saying you already know what they're going to do, so don't let them go there. What's up, my Marcus? That's my wife, Angel. Who's that? Oh, okay. Yo, have you seen that Lexus car? Just take the conversation. You don't have to give it to them to lead. Okay, again, you're telling me to put a lot more energy into something that I don't want to, I don't even feel like doing to begin with. Then this in lies the problem. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not a problem, but I'm letting you know where I, I'm letting you know where I am. And and I know. I'm just asking you to try something different. That's it. That's and it. And I have tried different things. I've tried different things. You know what happens when I try those different things? A lot of times I end up in conversations with a bunch of weird dudes. Nine times out of ten, there's gonna be some weird people that she sets me down at a table with, or I'm in the middle of a conversation with. It's like. He's so judgmental. No, no I, I'm not judgmental. If they were to me, they were to me. It's That's like judging. they come off extremely socially awkward. So it's just like, so how do I? How am I supposed to curb it? So in the meantime, they you having a hot. You don't think you come off socially awkward? I know I do, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> and I don't push my socially awkwardness onto people. It's like, 
Oh, it looked like he don't want to talk. I ain't gonna talk to him. <laughs> Good job, sir. That's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, we having all these awkward looks and conversations and they talking about football, which I don't watch right now. And all this stuff is going on and they over there having the time of their life. Cackling, giggling, laughing, knee slapping and all of that. Because women literally, we can talk about anything. It does not have to be something of common interest. But at the beginning. when we're put in these situations, it's not from something that I'm involved with. It's something that you're involved with. Which then makes you involved with it. No, it doesn't. It makes me involved with their weird ass husbands. <laughs> Don't say that. They might listen to this podcast. I ain't saying them. I'm just saying this in general, like in your industry or whatever. He's like, you got to understand, I do acknowledge the fact that my husband has to meet new people all the time because that's just the way my industry is set up. I don't get to work with the same people all the time. The only few are blessed to be able to work with the same people year after year after year. So the last time he got that was when I was working on ER and it was the same people for three years. That time is over right Those now. Those were my... People, I miss y'all ER. <laughs> I mean, hopefully there'll be another there'll be another time and day here in the near future where I'll be working with the same folk over and over again and then you'll get to know them and not have to re-meet new All right. people. But then again, Angel always, she actually pointed this out to me. It's like, she always says I have a gift of discernment. I, I can read people, I get their energy. Like within five, 10 seconds of talking to somebody, I get an energy from, I kind of can gauge what kind of person that is. When she sets me down and I'm sitting there talking to somebody for five minutes and I'm just like, this is not the two personalities that are going to hold together and be very, you know, hey. I'm not saying to hold together to become friends. I'm just saying in the moment. Just that, cool. In the moment, I'm always cool. I'm not never just, I, I never just shut down while we, while you sitting there talking and I'm in a group of people. I'm engaged every time. I'm never back there like arms crossed. You know, you kicking have it in done the corner. That I have done it before, but that's while listening to other people. I'm just like letting other people talk at this point. Now, some of your events, yes. When it's time to go, it's pushing up on 11:30. I gotta be up. It could be pushing up on 10. It could be pushing up on 9:30. If he don't no, be there, that's what no, we're that's no. You a lie. Don't even do that. You know, I'd be toughing them events out with you until you get really long with it. It's like, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. And then an hour and a half later, you still <coughs> running your mouth. We trying to get Listen, out the door. You be toughing them up, but I don't think you realize what you be looking like. When oh, I'm looking be... like that on purpose because no, no, it's no, taking no, no, you too no, no, long. No, 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 no. Prior to getting to that point, when we're at some place that you don't want to be at, like when you walk in and you can tell, oh God, why am I you here? You damn right. Yes. Your look is that way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that. See, it's Again, not... I've, I've had to do this. For 10 years okay. and my, I'm still not used to it and it's like you put everybody knows Hollywood is weird that is not a secret I'm one of the I'm a regular nine to, nine to five guy that's me you're so not regular you got a podcast you be on you got a podcast too. I'm just on here I'm a regular <laughs> nine to five guy so to put me in these rooms with all these creative artists and stuff is like let them artists talk. Because you're an artist as well. Not to that level. That's not my life. That's not what I do. I'm not allowed to be weird for the sake of being weird so I can be more creative. Yeah. They are. That's what they do. they good at what they do. Look at them getting all passionate. I ain't getting passionate. I'm just letting you know what it is. You put the blinders on. To I don't it. put the blinders on. That's, That's why. what it sounds like you do. No, it's not. It's not a lot. But Marcus, why don't you just do Why don't you just do that? Hey, why don't you just do that? The thing why don't is you just go the... shooting with me and have fun? I tried that. I did. But try it again. You need I to will. try it over well, and over. Listen, but uh, I'm asking. I'll, I'll go with you again. And, and I, have fun. Don't be all flinchy. I will do, I could try that again. Try different guns. I would try that. Do it for 10 years. We'll talk 10 years from now. Let's see. Mm -hmm. And see, that's something you'd actually get into and actually like. Marcus, shut up for a second. No. Nah. No, nah, you want me to be talking? Be one. <laughs> Because <laughs> here's the thing, Marcus puts so much judgment on them being, on people being weird and not just being like, okay, they weird. All right. It's like a thing for him of like, oh, they're weird. I can't deal with you. How many friends do you have? I'm talking about friends. I ain't talking about sororals and all that. How many friends do you have that aren't, that wouldn't be generally considered a little weird? I'm, everybody around me is weird, including you. Whatever. You are, so, dude, you one of the weirdest. Okay, Angel. Anyway. You, I, I can't believe that you don't see that in yourself. All right. 
So like I was saying, no, all Angel friends, are all Angel friends, I'm cool with. They are some of the weirdest. They're no Angel's known for attracting weird people. Are you not? Yes, including you. Okay. That's what's crazy that you don't see it in your own. Self. How am I weird? Marcus, the way you show love, the way you treat people that you care about, you think is just okay. How many times, <laughs> even on this podcast, how many times have people been like, oh my God, it's just like my husband. So husband everybody got weird. weird too. Okay, all right. So we all weird. So does that make us weird or normal? I didn't say we are all weird. Only a couple okay, of people Okay, all the said. husbands are weird. Not all of them. All the husbands and brothers are weird. And not all of them, because they didn't say all of them. It's only been... Let me know. Comment below. Let me know if I remind y'all of somebody y'all know. And if that person's weird, or if they just a cool, honest person. <laughs> anyway, Our Angel's putting the blinders couple, on. The second couple that we became friends with were Mike and Donna. Now... Mike and Donna, we met via our son's preschool. Their son was our son's best friend. And somehow it worked out. Because sometimes that doesn't work out where your son's friends, close friends, are going to become your good friends. Now, we don't kick it with Mike and Donna often. But when we do, we always have a good time. Yeah, like Mike and Donna are cool. Me and Mike have nothing in common. But Mike is one of those real cool people. He's hilarious. Both of them are hilarious. They yeah. both trip me out. Yeah. And we could spend a whole afternoon, whole day, whole weekend together, and it'll be fun because they're not weird. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Did you just say Mike and Donna are weird? Mike and Donna are not weird. They're hilarious. They're not weird. Don't make me start giving examples of weird people. Let me tell you what. Donna would be like, so I guess Marcus doesn't know us. <laughs> I do know them. They're funny. They're not weird. How? What makes them weird? Do one say one thing that makes them weird. Say one thing that makes. Give me one example that makes either one of them weird. They're okay. Wait a minute. First, give I, me. Hold on. I'm not minute. talking about career or what their interests give are. I'm talking about just of one of my close friends that is besides Nina. <laughs> I was gonna say. Um, that makes them weird. In the are we gonna ble are you gonna bleep out the name? Unless you are you talking bad about them about their weirdness? No, they know that I think they're weird. Okay. Okay, yeah, she's a, she's a special case. She's a special case. What about her makes her weird? What is not weird about <laughs> No, tell me, like, the specific thing that makes you feel that way. Then I'll be able to pinpoint something better with Mike and Donna. The way she eats. The first thing we noticed about her after getting, getting cool with her. That she eats really slow? Eats. I hope you believe it's that. No, she knows it. She eats slow, and she eats like she's about to feed a baby ant. That's how small she cuts her food up. <laughs> Like you can set a whole Fitness meal. Trainer. So she's gotta, you know, keep herself Excuses together. For this keep it together. You wanna name somebody else? That's just one thing about it. There's a bunch of weird stuff about <laughs> Madison. What else? Who else? You want me to keep going? No. So something that would make Mike and Donna possibly weird. We love you guys, first of all. Let me just say Oh, that. they know we love them. But that's hold on. But but with 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 the one that I just named before, that's one of those things where it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, why are you doing it? And it is to the point to where if you hold a conversation with that person and have to sit down eating, it's just like, would you please hurry up and finish that? That's just a weird, like, habit. That's what makes people weird. That's what makes people weird? Yes. You left off the S. That's weird. And he was trying to annoy me and make me mad, y'all. I'm not trying to annoy you. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. That's what did, 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 with these <laughs> goofy looking eyes. What my Anyway, eyes go ahead. Cool. Come up come up with, with an excuse. Okay, something that uh, Donna will do. Donna always asks us if something she's doing is weird. She like what? She Anything she does. Give me an example. She'll be like, so I decided that I wasn't going to throw him a party. Is that weird? And then she'll throw the biggest party the next day for a child. That's just a decision that somebody made. But the fact that she asked if things are weird. Okay, did y'all hear the difference in our examples? That lets you know. <laughs> that lets you know the type of well, stuff you, that Angel's on. Let me tell you. Is at one end of the spectrum because she is. What is weird about that? Did you just say that? I'm, no, I'm sorry. She's not weird. She's just crazy as hell. No, okay, now you're not about to call my friend crazy. I said you're going to bleep these out. <laughs> she ain't crazy. 
<laughs> I'm not about to keep talking about this person. <laughs> All right, let's move on. <laughs> she can't keep talking about that person. Let me think. All right, Who, moving on no, to the next couple. No, we're going to go down the list of friends. No, no, no. We're going to move on to the next couple. Let's get back that, to the weird I, talk. Because okay. this is about. I proved my point. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, what I'm saying is we need to move on. And, but you did not prove your point. The next couple I friends did. that we made were Shania and Keith and Carlin and Aleem. So it was two couples kind of at the same time. Yeah. And that was a miracle in itself. Because yeah. when Carlin told me... Oh my goodness, your husband has to meet my husband. I was thinking, no, no. Yeah, they're, they're both working. Uh, I, I don't even know if y'all knew we were both like working electrical field. Yeah, that's how she, oh, that's yeah. how she knew. Because Angel came home and told me, it's like, oh yeah, met this, I know this girl, and she said her husband works in electrical, blah, blah. I was like, are you serious? But I was outgoing. See, back then, I was all about it. I was like, all right, yeah, let's meet this person, let's meet that person. This was years ago. No, you weren't that outgoing. That's a lie. You end up meeting them. You end up, it, we went out for a party and that's how you met them. It wasn't like, so you want to go, like me schedule us to go out to dinner. It okay, wasn't but that party we was going to, what was that party? It was a mom to mom party. Mom to mom party. How many people did I know were other than you? Oh, nobody. But it, Exactly. So you can't say that I wasn't outgoing. No, what I'm saying is you aren't. You, you say outgoing as if you would do more than what you do now. You will go to a party with me now. Yeah, but you know, you don't invite me to that stuff where you know there's going to be one of those events where it's like, unless it's purposely put on, like the one that y'all did the whole couple's night that y'all did mm -hmm. recently, you don't even invite me to that stuff where it's just like, no, I'll go to this by myself or I'll take, you know, Denora or Risha or somebody with me so you don't have to go. Because you already know this ain't event is not going to be for Marcus. Right. Like that, you done used up my, you done used them up. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, you didn't use them up, but it's like, you know not to invite me to those. It's like, why am I going to be there? Because, well, especially because I know you're not willing to just look past people's weirdness and just have a good time. You're going yeah. to be. Yeah, and nine times out of ten, it's in the middle of the week anyway. That too, Tuesday obviously. night, yeah. Obviously, but right. I'm saying the other reason is because I know, you know, the thing is, is that Marcus has definitely not had as many jobs as I've had but he has switched jobs and some of his jobs have had you know parties that I've had to go to it's we one time a year every company I've been with Look, has I'm one not, listen, party once a year I am not trying to say it's anywhere near the same amount but what I am going to say is is that your wife is always very amicable it doesn't matter if I'm having a crappy night I'm going to be nice to everyone in general. Absolutely. If I only had to do that once a year, I would be the life of the party. You really believe that? I know that. If you'd be like, look, we gotta do this one, I gotta do this with networking thing, we gotta go to this thing. Same time as look, you remember we went last year? Yeah, we gotta do it again. It's just once a year. What should I wear? Mmm, I wonder. I'm gonna be the talk of the town, life of the party. Angel, your husband, he's so outgoing. Oh my God, we love him so much. <laughs> he's so nice and polite and he's so talkative and blah, blah, blah. Is that how they all talk? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I say all this to say is that it has been not the easiest thing for us to make couple friends. But we have along the way, like when Marcus really gels with somebody, usually I'm the easy one. There's very few people that he can pair me with that I'm not going to be like, okay, this will work. Now, he has brought people in my life that tire me out, but I take it like a champ. I take it like a champ. Now, you know, <laughs> you don't brought, it's vice versa. You don't brought people in my life that I'm just like, come on, I can do, use less of them. Yeah, but I think I take it better than you do. It, do I not? I don't think you do. Huh? Because the people that I brought into your life ain't in your ain't around you nearly as much as the people that you bring in my life. People that you bring in my life are around a lot more often. Because you know that. I am nicer, and they want to be around me more often. No, it's because of your career, and you just always randomly got random people over. Still, I you know, but okay, you just need to admit it off top. I am just a better people person, though. You know I am. I ain't got to like a person and they ain't even got to know. 
I never said I, that I wasn't. I was a better people person than you. Well, that's what I, I said I mean at the top. It. I don't like meeting new people. Well, I, then why even refute what I just said? I said I am more amicable. Did I not? I said when you bring people that are little trying and take my energy, I still am very amicable. And I am too. You can't say I'm not. I'm saying I am more so. Okay, sure. So you don't believe that? Yes, I do. Okay, that's all that I'm saying. Right. I refute it. Just go with it. I went with it. Oh, so you trying to pay back. You think you gonna get on my nerves? I ain't gonna let it happen. Because you I'm about to turn this off because it's been going too long. You too, you too sexy. It's not been going too long. We have to they annoy it at this point. No, they're not. They are not annoyed. You want me to keep going down the list of weird friends? No, but let's talk about what is your advice to making couple friends? Be honest with your spouse on how you feel about that person. The couple? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or that person. <laughs> We got couples where it's like, you know what, that person is cool of that couple. <laughs> <laughs> but the other, the other one, one we could do without. Or you could do without, it's usually you. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Shut your mouth. You a lie. You a lie. I've got a lot of married friends and you are not, you are not friends with most of the husbands. Because I don't know them. No, you've known them and you've met them and you just, you cool. You're just like, I'm good. Yeah, I'm cool because I ain't trying to be buddy buddy. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's not usually me. No, I don't avoid, like I said, I don't avoid people, but I'm not running up to be best friends with them. I didn't say that. You, you are. the point. You said I'm the one that usually right, is right. the person that said, uh-uh, no, that person don't work for me. That's I didn't say thing. usually. You did? Oh, boy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even remember, so I don't care. <laughs> so, be honest. Yeah, be honest. Uh, it doesn't have to be people of similar, you know, interest and all that type of stuff. But just make sure, I mean, make sure y'all have a good time. Like, Mike and Donna, they are, them and Angel have a lot of similarities in, in things that they're interested in. However, me and Mike just have a good time because he's hilarious. Um, and he finds me hilarious. Like, we just sit around and trip each other out. Um, but, yeah, that's that's the main thing. It's just like, just, it don't matter what you're what careers are or what any of that as long as y'all are cool and can hang out then do it but you again you got to be honest with the other um with your spouse or like yeah i'm not really feeling them like it or they may suggest something stupid like she just did and it's like oh take it a different route <laughs> for her you. sake you know we uh, just, so two examples that i'll give of things that end up being cool uh so since we're dealing with the world of youtube <clears throat> I had met Gabe and Babe the year prior to Marcus meeting them, um, Gabriel and Chad Raider. Met them the year prior to, and I was just like, hmm, they seem like cool people. And Marcus didn't really know any people really other than the Mom's View girls that were in my profession of online creating. And so I told him that I wanted him to meet them the next year. He did, and they were cool people. Yeah, they met cool. They were cool people. So today was another instance, but this time I was like, I'm not going to be like, oh, I think you'll like these people because sometimes Marcus becomes resistant just based off of him thinking, oh, somebody's trying to match him up again with friends. He's just like, I don't. Because it's been done so much. I get it. All right, then stop doing it. I didn't. <laughs> I don't think we heard you. <laughs> so today we worked with uh, Deval and Kadeen Ellis. Um, for couch conversations for Facebook and I was just like oh we're going to work with these people I think I, I was like I've shown you some of their content it'll be cool yada 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 he ended up hitting it off yeah mad cool yeah they're my people they're I like them. them yeah they yeah so so there's that's the thing that's the only thing is that sometimes I'm glad that you allow for connections to be made I definitely allow it Yes, but, but you do become resistant if you think that it's the meaning up is purposefully to see if there's a connection. Yeah, because that's annoying. I'm not a child or a puppy. Don't just put me in the ring. Hey, go play. And that's what we're, hold on. Everybody knows that's what women does. It's like, go talk sports. Hey, he's into cars too. Go put them together. Like, nah, don't do that. But I think you do need to recognize that you become more resistant when you think that's the situation and you're not as open when you think I'm that's glad the you situation. pointed that out 
And I will only strengthen that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so no, tell seriously. Us, what? You I like, will only strengthen <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. He is. He's way more yeah. so for couples night. He's resistant yeah, because he I don't knows what go. it is. It's, it's corny. It's not corny. It is corny. You why, can't, so why, I gotta, why I gotta be couples That's night? Weird. We just sitting around. All right, it might be weird. Why I gotta be couples night? We just sitting around and just, all right, sit down and talk. Like, nah, just throw a barbecue or something. Or like, let's just say, hey, we going out to this bar. We meeting up with a bunch of other people. Cool, let's do it. But it's like, no, y'all got to reserve tables. Y'all got to sit around. Now we just got to sit there and force to talk to each other. Well, we want to make sure there's enough seating for all of us. That's all that is. That's, that's all it is. We don't want to be trying to pop up to a bunch of different places trying to find space. Listen, convenience is convenience. I'm telling you. So tell us what your thoughts are. Is couple friends something that's important to you in your marriage or in your relationship that you're in? Or if you're single, do you feel like you have couple friends and you're like the third wheel or you don't have couple friends? It's like once your friends get married, you're just friends with the person that was your friend prior to marriage. And that other person is just an accessory that is around every now and again. Is that a question for me? No, that's oh. a question for the people. Well, you need to type that out. Ain't nobody going to remember all that that you just said. They don't have to remember it. They only answer in one part. There's one part if you're married, one part if you're single. Lord, you just being so it's he's been nah, drinking I, wine. No, so I literally really no. I got this. Uh, Y'all, we did a filming at the house last week, and I think we got mosquitoes in the house, and I think I just found a new bite. No. So I was scratching, and I wasn't paying attention to which. You get jerk. <laughs> You guys come back next, um, excuse me, not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after next for a new podcast. I'll be back from uh, New York for the YouTube um, Next Up camp because I got selected. Eight, eight, eight. Again, rate this podcast. Let us know your comments below. And we're going to do really quickly before we sign out the comment of the week. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. From Kelly, I want to say Wong because I just auditioned for Fresh Off the Boat and the last name is spelled the exact same. So Kelly Wong, she says, oh, I freaking love you all's podcast. End up on my subscription. I freaking love it when you all's podcast end up on my subscription feed. Keep up all the wonderful, insightful discussion and conversation topics. And then she put a crying emoji, a heart and prayer hands. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Really appreciate that. Yes, and I'm glad that I said your name right, Miss. Um, no, I said it right last time. I'm gonna say it wrong this time, so I'm just gonna say Monique. You know, that's your second name, girl. All right, guys, we will check y'all in two weeks. Y'all be blessed, and we'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Oh my gosh, that took forever. Who? <sighs> And I gotta do so much editing because you're not about to be sitting here talking about your crazy ass friends. Uh, <laughs> you gonna quit talking about my friends? You are. You, you you gonna stop talking? Okay. About my friends. Marcus feels so free to talk about my friends. I don't do. I talk about your friends like that. You can. You just don't. Be because I'm respectful. I'm respectful. All right, close this down so I can go take his boy roller skating. Oh, what? God dang. The, the, what the just camera. happened to my arm? That's all right. I'm going to handle it. I'm going to handle it. That chick angel. That chick angel.